Hey. <laughs> That's too bright. We're wearing black because two people died. She and me. <laughs> Our old selves. Yeah. Passed away. Passed away. <laughs> so that's why we're wearing black. Did I say that already? <laughs> we're so, mourning. So things have become new. New. Yes. And you can start by being your newest self today. Anytime. By subscribing. <laughs> Hi you guys. Welcome back to another video. And as you can see... I have a special guest once again. I'm the guest. I, I know you love her, so she's back. Now, today we're going to be conversing about moving abroad with children. I have three of my own. She's my eldest. My first point is you need to find out how your children feel about moving abroad. I love to organize my thoughts, so I'll be reading from my notebook today. So if you see me looking down, I'm just looking in my notebook. Try to find out how the kids feel about moving. That's so, something you really should consider. Yes, when I made my move a few years ago, she was 11 years old. I had a five year old going on six and of course a newborn. You want to communicate openly to understand if your kids are excited about the move, if they're happy, if they're sad, you know, you want to know what are their fears. You want to know what they're unhappy about. As a parent, you set the tone and expectations for them living in a new environment. Do you actually want to prepare them emotionally and mentally to better adjust? Which is right, because when mom decided to move to Jamaica, um, first things first, I, I didn't agree because I don't know what Jamaica is. I've known New York all my life, and you just tell me you're go. We're moving to a place where you grew up, no background. So okay, then yeah, we're moving to Jamaica, whatever. The next thing that really brought my mood down was the fact that sorting out the actual house or living quarters in that country or island. You know, you made friends when you were younger, so like that's one thing I wish I got. And that's something that made me upset, the fact that I couldn't say goodbye to my friends and I was missing out on school. Mom could have prepared me for that, like probably enabled me to speak to my friends about it, you know, and even more so, tell me more about Jamaica, help me to become intrigued to want to move to Jamaica. Yes, so which brings this point of explaining to your children that there's a difference between visiting and living in a new country. As she explained, we we took vacations before, but we would stay at a resort and it's a totally different environment. Being in a resort, interacting with staff members yes, and am. guests as opposed to living amongst locals. At best, please plan a trip where your children get to spend time with locals. So basically in both environments yes as like as a tourist and as a local yes and personally i had made the decision to live in a city because everything was more accessible and it was easy for me to get to work because i wanted to be close to the airport for work of course and also everything was in close proximity including my kids school i mean when she carried us to jamaica she carried us to Westmoreland. And all of me yarded them, we don't know where Westmoreland stay. It's country. Westmoreland is the rural area? Yes, it's, it's the rural parts of Jamaica. For those who are not familiar with the island, we have the rural areas, then we have the so-called cities, which are Montego Bay, and of course the capital in Kingston. Kingston. But outside of those areas, they're considered to be very country. So it's not like living in a big city like new york and then moving to Jamaica. and mind you <laughs> even though we were in the rural parts we were at uh it was a small hotel and i'm not gonna lie it was pretty nice you know a nice property everyone was just manicured and you know it was it was really nice like i like this life i think i could get used to this pool and all this 
yeah but that was my way of we could have been in a bigger resort but i chose to bring them to a smaller type setting as a way to show them yeah 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 but wait <laughs> i know that that's not the problem <laughs> i i came to jamaica and i got used to this resort and you know traveling back and forth yes okay we got the feel to be around locals but when we actually moved it was nothing like the resort yes of, yes, course. of course which takes us to our next point um as she mentioned before she didn't get to say bye to her peers so you want to ensure that your kids know how to keep their connections before you move you can do this by assisting your kids with the transition and teaching them how to stay in touch with their friends and extended family that they'll be leaving behind encourage them to keep connections with their old friends as we have no clue what the future holds which is right because as for her she's almost finished with high school and in her college life now she's probably gonna migrate back to the united states to attend college um we also want to know our teacher kids how important it is to network especially nowadays yep in every industry in every shape and form of our lives today we all network that's your key to achieving any goals yes as we know we use networking on social media for those who don't realize and you also want to our next point is you want to reinforce that there will be cultural differences. Mm -mm. <laughs> um, you want to reinforce courtesy and important knowledge of differences in cultural behavior, such as manners, gestures, and manners. Other socially acceptable behaviors they should know in their interactions. Let me tell with you, their child. new neighbors and folks that they will come across. When I lived in New York, <laughs> like originally lived in New York, like, you know, it's what can i say i don't want to say it's a matter of being ill-mannered but like that whole barrier wasn't there like in, in jamaica if if you're under 18 or even when you're 18 you're a child and you must address people who are much older than you as miss sir and, yeah. mrs sometimes you even have to call them aunt and uncle <laughs> everybody in jamaica is family yeah, you're not biologically related, but you address them with the proper title. Yeah. Whereas in New York, okay, I lived in an apartment complex. And let's say my neighbor, her name is Rebecca Samuels. I would say, hi, Rebecca, or Rebecca, the mail came for you today. But living in Jamaica, I have had a neighbor. Her name was... Her name? No, her name, no. no, we don't we don't want to use any names. Well, she had to say Miss So and so. I had to call her Miss Robinson. Yeah. Miss Brown. Yeah. I couldn't call her by her first name. Yeah. So <laughs> that that took some getting used to, I'm not gonna lie. Because like when I ask you what's your name, you can't even ask people what's their name. They're gonna be like, Auntie Davis to you, <laughs> Miss Brown to you, and I'm like, Miss Brown. That's me. <laughs> So, yes. So, in a sense, guys, you have to explain to your children the difference between how things are done and how people behave in the States as opposed to other countries. It's nothing personal. It's just a matter of respect. Last but not least, you want to address the uncertainties of moving. Of course, when you're moving, there's tan intangible loss with your kids leaving their life behind as they know it. Observe behavioral changes and be tender and considerate in your responses. As for me, I, as you've heard it from the horse's mouth, she wasn't happy at all with our move. And of course, I, I guess I totally ignored it. I'm sorry. It's not really ignoring. You know, you had a lot on your plate. Yes. And I, if I could do it all over, all these pointers I'm sharing with you guys, I would have followed them to the T. And that's why we're here to help you guys 
to look out for these things and to just nip it right in the bud and make a smoother transition for you and your children you want to make sure you observe any behavioral changes be tender and once again i said be considerate in your responses to your children encourage closure and allow them to say proper goodbyes as for her i remember that you know she was rebelling for the need of my attention and it wasn't because i neglected her but with my job i'm going back and forth because as soon as we moved there i had to go back to work like literally i, I would say i guess in a week or two i was yeah. back to work so there wasn't any time for me to stay there with them you know and in those first few weeks and of course we had a live-in nanny who was a total stranger you know so that made it a little challenging for them bear these things in mind it gives for a smoother transition and at the end of the day you don't want your children to feel uncomfortable or to feel like they don't fit in because in the long run they can become withdrawn and we don't want that right and well my first son which is the second child i had issues with him too because he was getting into fights because the kids would tease him you know because of his accent can you believe that right it's like they they wanted him to feel some kind of way and of course he wasn't having it so unfortunately he attended three schools wow yes in in the course of what three years oh like he literally spent a year in each school somewhat but he's doing well now he, yeah he has settled yes you know if if i didn't know any better i would think he had behavioral problems when it's literally not taking all these things i've shared with you guys into consideration but i'm glad i got to the bottom of it like she said he's doing well he's in high school he's always the top of his class she's almost finished with high school and my newborn he's a first grader we are doing pretty well so it's not that bad moving abroad with your children so that wraps it up for today's video and of course you want to go over to daddy pine's page to subscribe and if you like this video give us a thumbs up yes, you want to leave a comment down below and share deuces now personally i moved with three children at the time my eldest was 11 hi that's me my where you know everything is more accessible the camera slant what does that mean i got slant the video got slant